Hello everyone, this is John, back again with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be tasting a few things that are supposed to taste similar to beer, but aren't. So I have two products that I'm going to taste today. One is a drink, and one is a snack. Um, the first one I'm going to be doing is the snack. And here it is. As you can see, this is a bag of Lay's. This bag of Lay's is from China. In Shanghai, product of China. As you can see, Chinese letters and symbols. And there you go, there's a bottle of beer and some chips. On the back there is a sticker that was applied to this um, so I can see in English what some of the ingredients and nutritional information is. Um, I've already looked over this and I'm not sure how well this is going to taste like beer uh, because here's here's some of the here's the beer flavor seasoning sugar malodextrin fructose glucose artificial flavors that's vague enough that maybe there's some beer flavor in that msg beer doesn't really taste savory sodium bicarbonate isn't sodium bicarbonate baking soda salt citric acid malic acid so we have two sour things yeast extract okay yeast there's yeast in beer whole milk powder you know because beer tastes like milk disodium guanylate disodium inosinate soy sauce and aspartame there's one two three sugars in here it says sugar fructose and glucose but there's also aspartame and then there's salt and msg and sodium bicarbonate and there's also citric acid and malic acid which are sour so this flavor could be pretty interesting i don't know how beer like it's going to taste my phone's going crazy because i have a delivery and it detected someone from the camera but sorry about that noise it has the rigid top so i don't think it's gonna pull open but it should tear off a corner okay first thing we're gonna do is give it a smell Beer smells hoppy, yeasty, um, malty. Let's see if any of those come out in the smell. Not at all. It smells like chips. And if I was going to give it a flavor off the guess of the smell, it kind of smells like uh, salt and vinegar chips. Good taste. This does have a a taste to remind me of something. It's not beer. Hmm. Okay. This the flavor of this, not exactly, but the 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 flavor that I'm being reminded of is uh, banana chips. Have you ever had like dried banana chips? Hmm. 
That's kind of what it's remind me of. There's also a weird, almost cooling effect that's happening on my tongue. Almost as if there was like menthol in it. But it was definitely not in there. Maybe like the, the baking soda in there is giving like a little, I don't know, maybe it's possible like fizzing slightly that I'm not really detecting enough, but it is creating a cooling effect on my tongue maybe. The chips don't taste bad necessarily. But like, if you didn't say this was beer flavored, you could put this as a mystery flavor and no one would guess it. It has a weird... A little sweet, a little sour. No discernible, identifiable flavor. Maybe if these were made in the Lay's Thailand factory, it would have tasted like beer. But the Lay's in Shanghai and China? Not very good at matching the flavor. I really don't taste anything beer like. There's no bitter hoppiness. There's no like rich uh, caramely maltiness. And there's nothing like yeasty about it. Oh well. Beer flavored lays. Not like you're gonna say like this is disgusting. It just doesn't taste like beer. And it's kind of weird flavored, unidentifiably. All right. Before I get into the second part, the, the drink that's supposed to taste similar to beer but isn't beer, I'm going to talk about something uh, that I've thought about bringing up before, but I haven't. Um, now is as good as a time as ever. This is not a, a sponsor, but this is something that um, two good friends of mine have put this company together. I've purchased from them many times. That is the Black Lux Candle Company. There's many places that sell candles, but Black Lux Candle Company uh, in my opinion, they have good prices and they come out with premium products. They ship within the 50 uh, United States. I think they've made special orders for shipping outside the United States before, but I think that's something you have to uh, talk with them about. Anyway, their website is blackluxcandles.com. They've recently opened a storefront in Chicago, uh, and that address, just so if you're interested, is I just had it on my screen there a little bit. Seventeen forty one, North Damon Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. They recently had their soft opening, and their official grand opening is next Friday, October the fifteenth, on a Friday. <clears throat> so they have premium candles. Uh, every uh, scent I've had before was very good. Um, currently, I have a candle burning right there. You can see the little flicker. That is a lemongrass uh, scent. It is very citrusy. A little bit of herbaliness to there. Um, the only other two I have currently on me are mango coconut and tropical breeze. These both 
are in the tropical scent category. Tropical Breeze has like a pina colada-y type smell to it. The mango coconut. Self-explanatory. Smells like mango and coconut. But uh, they last a long time. They, get it, they come in wood wicks and the regular incand in incandescent wicks. I think that's how you say it. Um, they have different size candles. At their storefront, they have candle making classes um, where they provide like snacks and stuff, and it's like I think maybe an hour long. And you can even make your own uh, scent combinations. Um, you can layer the candle to make it so it changes scents from top to bottom. Um, online, if you're a new customer, you get 20% off. You just go to the website and they'll say, hey, new customer, here's 20% off. Uh, this is not sponsored by me. You're not gonna, I'm not going to get anything out of this. Um, but, yeah, that's it. They have a Facebook, facebook.com slash black, B-L-U-X-E, Candle Co. Uh, but if you search Black Lux Candle Co. on Facebook, that's where you'll find it. They have Instagram. They have... Pinterest, all the social medias, but Black, Black Lux Candle Company, um, they are officially A-OK -okay with Fat Hipster, um, and if you do buy anything from them, let them know the Fat Hipster sent you. Um, I think their most popular scent right now is Buttercream, um, it's like a vanilla sugary um, cake frosting type smell to it and uh, it's one they frequently sell out of it's only a two-person operation um, everything they make is from those two people it's handmade stuff high quality they have candles wa uh, wax melts They'll, they sell the wax warmers I think they have like the, the inc incense uh, oil sticks you soak um, but anyway, check them out. BlackLuxCandles.com Anyway, moving on to the second part of this review. Get those candles down here. The second thing that we'll be tasting that's supposed to taste like beer is this. Hop water. Hop lark water. It's a sparkling water with the different hops flavors. I've had hop water before. Um, I tried like the hop 2O, and I've tried uh, the hop water from uh, a local place over here, Lagunitas. Um, but Hop Lark specializes in hop water, and it's not just one type. I uh, purchased this four pack. It was a sample pack. I don't think that's currently in their store anymore at hoplark.com. But uh, they have many more flavors than just these four. Uh, but I think these are like their flagship flavors. And this was like their experimental one that came with this pack. I'm actually going to taste the experimental one for the, uh, the review here. Um, but <clears throat> I will tell you what the other ones are. This one is Hop Lark Citra Hops. It gives you a little description of like how this should taste. Um, citra Hops. Quite hoppy. There's Mosaic Hops. There is Sabro Hops. I actually was uh, confused because it's actually on the website that tells you everything. I think if you get a full pack, it'll have the, the flavoring on the box itself. But not only do they have hop water, they also have hop tea. 
That's where basically they take one of the base hop waters and they add uh, green tea, black tea, white tea, other types of tea to it. So it's a tea with the hops flavor added as well. Um, I'm pretty sure these are just going to be clear, but I did bring a, a cup with me just so we could be clear about the clearness. Um, <clears throat> the one I'm going to be trying is the one with experimental 008 hops. I looked that up and the USDA experimental variety 008 is also known as USDA Elite Line 008. It's exciting new aroma from blah blah blah, blah. notes of green apple, peach, mango, rounded out with grassy and subdued earth characteristics. Um, a great choice for adding a new dynamic to West Coast IPA and hoppy hazy pale ales. Aroma profile citrus, stone fruit, herbal, earthy. It's so one thing that um, I like as far as marketing and what they're saying it is because I haven't tried any of these yet is that unlike the other hop waters that didn't tell you what hops they used this one you can actually get a variety so like every can you taste is a little bit different from the last one so let's try the hop water sparkling experimental hops Ooh. Definitely got some fizz on that one. Right, as you can see, it's very clear. It does look like there's a slight yellow, excuse me, yellowness to it. If I like look at something that is white and I put this against it, it puts like the slightest, slightest, slightest yellow hue to it. Uh, let's give it a scent and see if I can get those aromas that it was talking about. Citrus, stone fruit, earthy, herbal. There's a very like fresh herbaly scent to it. Definitely hoppy. Let's give it a taste. It's very bubbly, very effervescent. It does have a almost like a green apple-y flavor to it, kind of how it how it says. I'm, I'm not getting peach and mango, but I am getting the green apple, and I am getting like a grassy, herbaly smell to it. But usually stuff like that, it hits people a little bit differently. You might get that peach mango out of this one, but I definitely get that, that green apple out of this one. It's very tasty. These have zero calories, um, no caffeine, anything like that. The ingredients are literally carbonated water, and in this case, experimental hops. These one, other ones, we'll just say carbonated water and citrus hops, carbonated water and mosaic hops, carbonated water and sabro hops. Uh, I think the only difference in the teas are they actually have the the teas they talk about. Um, for example, they have. I'll pick a variety pack so that's not going to have the description. Do, do, do. Poplark tea, the juniper one. Does have ah, clicked back the sprucey one. I don't need to click one from that one, the limited. Okay. 
You can buy these in a 12 pack or in a 5.25 gallon keg. Okay, so ingredients for this tea is carbonated water, chamomile flour, citra hops. So that's the chamomile citra hop tea. Just three ingredients. So, very simple ingredient wise. You know, look, it's whole 30 approved in case that's a a diet that you're on. It's very refreshing. Um, since it is a hop water, they're all going to be very hoppy. There's going to be no malts at all. So the beer that's going to taste most like are uh, IPAs. Because those are very hop heavy, very bitter tasting. Um, but very refreshing nonetheless um a good way to stay hydrated and still have a little bit of that uh ipa beer flavor that you want and with multiple varieties they even have a a subscription that you can get on the hoplark website um not only does the subscription save you money but also, you're guaranteed the limited releases. And it's about every month to every month and a half that a new limited release comes out. And I really like that idea. Uh, currently, let's see, what are their limited releases right now? They have one called the Really, Really Hoppy One. It comes with Simcoe and Citra, Black Tea, and Citric Acid. That must be a T. Um, and then September water one is the Strata Hops. Okay. Um, shop limited releases. Alright, so the October one, it doesn't say what it is yet, but they have a tea and a water for every month. September we had Strata Hops. August we have Juniper. Is that a tea or a water? It's a tea. And they had water. Juniper Needles and Berries and Simcoe Hops. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Thai Basil, Yerba Mate, Willamette and Mount Hood Hops. Experimental 08 Hops was the May release. Okay. So I purchased this back in May. I haven't opened it yet but still pretty fresh um, whole melon in July mile high hibiscus in May El Dorado all Motueka I don't know how to say that Motueka hops from April so it looks like it goes far as far back as April and they have a April May, June, July, August, September releases. And then the October release um, looks like it's pre order right now. And it hasn't said what it is yet. But if you subscribe, you're guaranteed to get to get the new limited release ones, as well as the whichever ones you sign up for for the monthly subscription, be it the water or the hops, um, tea. Uh, but again, not sponsored by this one either. This is just something that uh, I've been I was advertised from. I thought it'd be interesting because I've had hop waters before, and I've had some good ones, some bad ones. But this Hoplark water, 
I enjoyed it. Um, it's a good way to, like I said, stay hydrated, uh, reduce like calorie intake. Um, this would definitely be something that I could stock a, fr a fridge with and just grab one every now and then, sip on it, or just drink a whole can. And the fact that you get different hops, I like that too, because it's like you can learn which hop flavors you like the most. And then when you're out at a, a restaurant that has a bunch of different beers to choose from, you can look at the hops and be like, I remember I like that hop and that water that I had, and I'll get a beer that has the same thing, and you're guaranteed to like it, or at least much more likely to. Anyway, there you have it. Things that are supposed to taste like beer, but aren't. The chips, not so much. A little hop lock water, very much enjoyed it. It tastes very similar to like you were drinking an IPA. And if you're inclined to, don't forget to stop by the website of Black Lux Candle Co. Or, if you're in the Chicago area, they have a, a new storefront with their grand opening that's next Friday. That's October the 15th. <clears throat> and uh, with that being said, I bid you farewell. Like and subscribe.